Laurie! Laurie! Great news. We've finally got a good Mario Party on the Switch. <laughs> if you've never played a Mario Party game before, it's essentially a board game, but on your TV. You roll a dice and move along one of the mini boards, each with their own unique themes and challenges, and at the end of each round, you face off against your friends in a wacky mini game. As the name suggests, it's the perfect party game. Now, we have had an entry in the series on the Switch before, but it was kind of a steaming pile of dog doo-doo. Many of the boards were far too linear and relatively short, and most of the mini games weren't exactly the most exciting the series has brought to us. With many of them relying heavily on motion controls, many of you would play this on your Switch Lite. It was flat out impossible, actually. The biggest gripe, though, was the lack of online. You could only play a couple of the mini games with your internet friends and not the actual board game. They've since fixed this, but the damage was already done. Super Mario Party missed the whole point of a Mario Party game. For Mario Party Superstars, however, Nintendo's decided to go with the foolproof plan of getting back to their roots. They have taken five boards and 100 mini games from the 64 and GameCube era that people already knew and loved and have remade them for the modern age. If it ain't broke, why fix it? Sometimes you've got to stop being so innovative and just try to remember what made the games great to begin with. Being able to play all of your old favorite mini games online with people from all over the world was the Mario Party that we've all been waiting for. Having said all that, Superstars doesn't rely solely on nostalgia. Even if you've never heard of Mario Party before, this is a great place to start. It's a super fun and top quality game in its own right. The beating heart of this game are the boards, and Nintendo has chosen five of the best and most dynamic options. Each of them plays so differently with their own unique quirks and mechanics, whether it be trying to steal other people's stars by planting strawberries, which looks suspiciously like piranha plants rather than strawberries, or trying to deal with the constantly changing directions in woody woods, putting you ever further away from that elusive star. Not only do these mechanics mean that every level is vastly different, they also ensure that no two games are ever the same, even if you play the same map a hundred times. Variety is the spice of life after all. And if the boards don't provide you enough opportunities to stitch up your mates, then there are plenty of items you can use to shake things up a bit, like a cursed dice block that allows you to roll a three at best, or a chomp whistle that whisks away that star from anybody who might be getting a little bit too close for comfort. Oh, he's moving it! Oh. He's moving it! I actually hate Waluigi split oh. every fibre of my oh, being. Oh, man. If the boards are the beating heart, then the mini games have to be the lifeblood. As we mentioned earlier, once everyone's had a go at rolling the dice, you'll have the opportunity to play a mini game to earn coins. These coins are what's used to buy those pesky items or game winning stars. These mini games come in such a variety of different shapes and sizes. While one or two are reminiscent of one another, for the most part they are super distinct and loads of fun. They all fall into one of three categories, 2v2, 3 on 1, or every man, woman and child for themselves. And having a hundred of them means that you'll never repeat them in a single playthrough. The mini games offer a nice break from being at the mercy of chance with your dice rolls and allow you to take matters into your own hands. Some of them are relatively simple, while some offer quite the challenge, allowing you to steal precious resources away from your friends. The short sharp mini games help define Mario Party as a video game rather than just a board game that you play on your TV. In our opinion, this is where most of the fun lies and where most of your friendships will probably become a little strained. In fact, if you're not a fan of the board game aspect at all, then there's another mode that allows you to solely play the mini games. Mount mini games. Here you can hone your skills in preparation for the next showdown with your friends or hop online and try to beat the high scores in the leaderboards. Here the mini games are categorized so you can easily pick out your favorites, making it the perfect way to kill 10 or 15 minutes before school or work when you don't have time to play a full board. As we mentioned earlier, Mario Party is the perfect party game and it is awesome to just be able to give your mates a controller and play over a couple of drinks. One of our friends even had a Halloween party where they all dressed up as Mario characters to play this game. Unfortunately though, this isn't always possible. Maybe your friends don't live in the same area as you or even in the same country. With the current state of the world, sometimes catching up with your mates is near impossible. Thankfully, Mario Party Superstars has you covered with a fantastic online system. This time around though, the entire game was playable online, not just a part of it. 
offering you a more complete and robust online experience that worked really well. We actually played this one with our friend James from Ireland, which is about as far away from Australia as you can get. And apart from a couple of longer loading times, the mini games and the rest of the playthrough ran perfectly. There were a few drops in frame rates here and there, but apart from this, it ran cohesively with no issues at all. What more can you ask for with an online experience? Arguably the best part of the online system is that you don't even need friends to play. The online system easily partners you up with players from all around the globe, meaning that you're still able to get your Mario Party fix as a solo player, even if all of your other friends are asleep or otherwise indisposed. There are also some other interesting features that make online play just that little bit more enjoyable. As we all know, and have come to resent, Nintendo lacks a voice chat feature. Thankfully, Superstars has gotten around this quite nicely by offering you all of these little stickers, which act kind of like emotes. At least you have some form of communication. It's also worth mentioning that you can add turns to the game whenever you want. So if you're losing spectacularly or you're not done hanging out with your new internet friends yet, you can force them to stay with you by making the game endless. As you can expect from a first party Nintendo title, no shortcuts have been made here in terms of graphics and sound quality. All of the music is super upbeat and catchy, and the songs fit each stage's aesthetic perfectly. And while the graphics aren't hyper-realistic, it's a Mario game. What more do you want from him? In fact, hyper-realistic isn't always better anyway. The graphics have definitely come a long way though, especially comparing the new maps and mini games to their predecessors. Isn't it amazing how the N64 was state of the art back in the day with their whole 64 bits? It actually makes me feel pretty old to be honest. Speaking of the old games, there's a little easter egg or throwback if you will at the start of each board. Here Toad will show you some pictures of the originals and reference a past superstar who once saved the day and will encourage you to do the same. Also, what do you think this means for the old N64 Mario Party games? Do you think there's still a chance that they might come to the N64 online system or will they be left in the past in preference for the new and improved version of these old classics? Let us know what you think in the comments below. In pleasant contrast to the last Switch installment, we honestly find it pretty hard to fault Mario Party Superstars. It appeals to both local players with its flawless catch co-op capabilities as well as solo players with its well executed online system providing potentially limitless hours of fun. Nintendo has finally done Mario Party the justice it deserves. Before we go, we've got an exciting announcement to make. We're now partnered with the online store, The Low Grade Gamer, so we would love it if you would be able to click on the link in our description below and go check out some of the amazing products that they have available. They even have Mario Party Superstars for $5 cheaper than you'll find at EB Games. So if you're Australian and you've been thinking about buying it, then why not support us by supporting a homegrown business? Don't forget to party on over to that subscribe button down there. And on the way past, maybe you could tap the like button on this behind as well. Thank you so much for watching Some Kind of Gaming. It's been fun as always, and we'll catch you guys on the next one.